Hey guys, Zulkaris here and welcome back to Make Quest. As you can see, I swapped out my make for the police make. I've never used this police make before, but it should be good. And what I noticed, I did a few test runs with it. And what I noticed was that the police make is a good glass cannon. It has very bad HP and very low EP, but it has very high regen for its level. And what that does is that it allows you to equip more powerful and energy draining equipment. And even some of its default weapons can do a shit ton of damage. So not exactly my playstyle. I'm trying to make this a dodge tank, sort of. And yeah. But anyway, I did all these missions. I got 100% at reputation and this is my reward. Weapons that I can't even use because they are Star Captain exclusive. So anyway, you may be wondering what we have to do now. It still says put on your uniform and await further orders, soldiers. I already have my space captain space uniform on. Also, I noticed something that you actually choose what kind of helmet style you have by clicking here. Now that that's the case, I wonder if any of the other uh, uniforms, costumes, whatever, has similar features. I'll have to check it out later. But for now, I'm sticking with this helmet. I will be sticking with this helmet until I have to take it off for whatever reason. So anyway, here's what you need to do. You need to go back to Lorion. To progress the storyline, you need to go back to Lorion and see Dean Warlick. Story guide. King Aden. You will need to be, you still need to be rescuing size zero. Go to Dean Warlick to activate this quest. Yep. What does this say? Happy f Dean Warlick of Soluna City. I click on him, but it does nothing. Also, another thing I noticed that these shops are actually viable late game because if you, s that's weird. When I opened this in my other characters, I guess, when I opened this with my other character, there were way more equipment. What's that about? I wonder. I'm going to do a side quest for a sec before I do the main thing. No, no, no. Lost parts. What happens if I ask for lost parts? Zulk, I've got a problem. One of my, yeah, we read this already. When I was way too weak to handle this. Let's see if I'm better now. Yeah, that is bad. If the enemy wins initiative, that's just super bad news for me. I use this to stun. I use the police lights to lower accuracy. And I use this hopefully stun again but as you can see I am taking I'm getting dangerously close police lights again to reduce accuracy I guess target bin laser reduces weapon damage maybe I should have been doing that more and police airstrike finishes off because police airstrike always crits and always does around 80 damage that's one thing I've noticed Again, every time enemy wins initiative, it's awful. Because I don't have the HP to tank. Bargain bin laser to reduce weapon damage. Police lights. Okay. Big smile to hopefully get a stun. This is gonna hurt. Okay, the dodging effect worked. Police airstrike. Did that not crit? For the first time in forever, did that actually just not crit? 
I think it might have not created. Do this again. So yeah, this make is really hard to use. It is powerful. It's doing more. Oh. How much immobility do you have? 60. Okay then. That means I need to police like you to hopefully get you to miss. I also should check how many times the police lights last for. Two times. So do this to reduce weapon damage. I am so dead. Unless that happens. 72. Good. You're stupid. I say that and I get destroyed. Perfect irony. That is perfection. I think I can probably try this again. If I... New strategy with this. Try to kill them as fast as possible before they have a chance to do anything. Electro snipe. That's... I don't like that. This. Immobility. Okay, airstrike. Affected by airstrike. Bargain bin laser to reduce damage. Maybe I should have used the police silence instead. Airstrike. I guess I just have to spam airstrike as much as possible here. And again, hope that I win initiative. This. Then this. To hope. To try and chain dazed attacks, I guess. Airstrike. It does not crit. It crit like 5 out of 5 times when I did it in testing. Why isn't it critting now? Is it like it just has a really high crit rate but isn't... 100% crit rate. Is that it? There, it crit that time. I don't really know how this weapons work. The police maker is not as good. Well, it probably is if you have the right build for it. But I don't have the right build for it. Forget the rest, just get... Just get around him to the ship. Well, that wasn't too bad. The items they left behind should be here. Hopefully, they don't make off with too many. Back to tech. You're back. Did you manage to get the shipment? No, the thieves managed to get away with some. That's not the best news I've ever gotten. But you were able to recover most of the items. Well, at least you saved the cases with the new Machine Master concept head weapon. Grab one as a thanks. For saving as much as you did. Reward. What? Unstable laser head. This weapon based on the original design by Machine Master has been redesigned. It still does more damage per hit. But it will also disrupt your foe. Well, these are really high level stuff though. I do wonder if it was just a level thing. I mean, I have a dynamic air gun now at level 11. I do wonder if it's just a level thing or not. Because my other character was level 27. So maybe more stuff will get added later. I'll just do the main quest now. I had around 30k. Another thing I did, I kind of got scammed because here's the thing. I went to House Wolf Blade. Wait for the style shops. No, oh, sorry. Wait for the normal weapon shops. And I saw something awesome. The WRM. Um, this stuns enemies. I thought, fine, I'll just put it on the police mech and stun everyone continuously with it. But no. You can't do that. This thing only works with the wolf blade mechs. 
So that fucking sucks. Does any of these things work? So a lot of them seems to work, but the WRM doesn't. Dang. Yeah, a lot of these things work, but the WRM doesn't. There's also another head weapon I found from my other one called the Spitfire. I don't know where to get it. It looks like a wolf blade weapon though. Is it a Nova Gem one? Or is it somewhere here? Ah, here it is, the Spitfire. Here. Spits bullets like a machine gun. This actually stuns from what I could see. I wonder if there's a version of that here. Automatic repeater? No. Missile mouth? No. Not these things. Battle mace? Shrapnel breath? That's just speed fire but for star captains. Then there's the speed fire D force. Wrong one. So yeah, I guess the Spitfire level 20 weapon is the lowest one. Enough about that. Let's go to Dean Warlick now. Look, Nurse Helia needs your help. She may be able to cure size 0. Okay. Let's find a cure then. Nurse Helia would like to try a new technique to cure size 0. She is currently located at a mesh camp on the outs outskirts of town. Due to a wartime time shortage of usable ambulances, we will need to use your van. You must transport size 0 to the camp. Unfortunately, the road ahead is very dangerous. The Shadow Scythe have sent a new type of unit to hunt down size 0. It's called a Bloodhound. You must outrun it in your van. The Bloodhounds are relentless. Be very careful. Go now. Oh. So what you have to do is you have to make the bloodhound run into cars. Well not running into cars yourselves. Oh no. I accidentally clicked off. That was awful. Come on, where are the cars? I need them. I keep getting hit by cars myself. Yeah, you have to get the bloodhound to hit the cars. Just one second remaining. If I go back, does that make the bloodhound also go back? No, it does not. I do not remember this being as hard. That time it just caught up to me with no opportunity to do anything else. Come on. There. That time it got hit by cars, the bloodhound I mean, but it didn't even move back. How's that fair? And that time there were no cars to speak of. Okay, that was a very janky... That was a very janky minigame. Well, there goes my car. And that's the rebel leader. Excellent driving. You and Odessa both managed to buy us enough time to get Size 0 safely to the camp. Your Mecha was delivered here ahead of you. Now please guard the camp from any more Bloodhounds. There's a Bloodhound right now and it won initiative. This is bad. Again, every time Irimi wins initiative, it's extra painful here. Wait, 
Resist immobility effect. Oh, that is bad. That is really bad. I'm going to have to try and out damage him because my damage output is beastly. It's just that my health is really shit to compensate. Very good, Zulk. The camp is safe for now. Now you can witness the new technique. As you know, the brain graft completely changes the personality and identity of the patient. We can't risk having size zero lose his identity. So I suggest the technique. So I suggest this technique as an alternative. I call this technique temporary lob lobotomy. Don't worry, it'll wear off after a while. How? How are you going to make a lobotomy temporary? Size zero. Do you hear me? Do you know who I am? Doom. We shall destroy your precious Soluna city. Oh no, the technique did not work. Sai Zero is slipping back into a coma. Haha, <laughs> you will all fall to the power of Lord Valoth. Even though Sai Zero has not recovered, we may still be making some progress. Let me check his charts to see. Medical research check. Sai Zero looks a little better. Great, Sai Zero is looking a little better. I think that we are starting to make some progress. You'll need to move to a new camp soon. To the mesh cap and protected it while now instead of attempting to cure it. This camp is no longer safe though you'll have to. Oh, so I have to do that over and over again until he gets cured. And each time, just like with the jobs, I have to roll a dice. Well, you know what that means. I think it's only fitting that I go fuck off and do a side quest and hopefully fix this makeup problem that I found myself in. Here's Narcelia again. Hanka Hanka Burning Love, ticket number 2045. There's lots of time to read while you wait. Lots and lots and lots of time. Courage, it's knowing when to eject. Now serving six, your number is only 299,792,458. Please take a seat and wait. Expect prompt service at specific hospital. Uh, this is Evil Corp Puzum. Makes you feel alive again. It's Puzum, not Puzum, I guess. The WR is full of interesting people, waiting room. And some of them are still alive. Some of them. This coffee IV has a freshly grown and oh, aroma that really wakes you up. It's hooked up to his mouth. Anatomy chart. Apparently humans and aliens both have heads. Tap to volunteer at the hospital. Welcome to the specific hospital. Waiting room. Welcome to the specific hospital waiting room. Specific hospital is a state-of-the-art hospital facility. Volunteer. We are in desperate need of volunteers here. The shadow site war has left us badly understaffed. Right now we have volunteers performing many duties such as rescue missions, supply delivery and surgery. We also have volunteer work available in our research lab. We hope to learn as much as we can about the shadow site physiology. So would you like to become a volunteer? We can guarantee long hours, high stress and huge pots of coffee. Yes, sign up. Yay, you are the first volunteer. Put on some scrubs and start work immediately. Time to put on some scrubs then. Question, can I combo my scrubs with the helmet? Space helmet, wrong one. Soldier helmet. Oh, I can actually just click on myself to bring that down. Neat. Honestly, can I check something real quick? Honestly, with the scraps and the helmet, I think this is the closest I can ever come to my actual avatar. I'll take it. 
the helmet is only temporary though because I will need to put on I guess a doctor's mask or something when I eventually unlock it to get through this quicker. For now, as with all of these job type missions, I am going to do them off screen but I will show one of each type of mission. Welcome to the OR. We need someone to perform an autopsy on an alien specimen. Specimen, do you need instructions? Yes. Autopsies are simple. All you have to do is extract an organ out of an alien specimen before the time runs out. We need fresh samples. Okay. I need to adjust my mouse real quick. Next. We have marked the safest extraction path on this specimen. Specimen, you will need to drag the organ along this path. The target on the organ is your guide marker. Some parts of the organ may stray off the path, stray off of the path, but the target guide must stay on the path, okay? If the center of the guide target drifts off the path, the organ will be damaged. If it's too damaged, we will lose the specimen. That's it. Now I hereby grant you certification to perform autopsies. Okay. Let's perform an autopsy. Okay, the specimen is prepped and ready. I'll just be over here if you need me. Good luck. This looks like a gray. Like, you know, those gray skinned aliens. That's the most stereotypical alien. And this does not look like a shadow sight. So this is the organ. I simply need to move this around. I remember this being super stressful to kid me. But I don't know why this, this seems fine. Yeah, this seems pretty easy, honestly. I can't let go of it though, because I think it'll just snap back to the starting point. There we go. That was easy. Victory. Hospital promotion check. I got a promotion. Wow, that was impressive work. You have very nimble fingers. We are taking the extracted specimen to the lab for testing. Congratulations, you have earned a promotion to candy stripper. That sounds dirty and ooh, 500 credits. Not bad. When do I get the doctor uniforms? 12 and 20. And when do I get the gift shop? 12. EMT shop is at 30. Nano quest is at 30 and shadow side bed base is at 31, which is the waiting room grand finale. Let's do this. The mesh camp is just ahead. You must pick up the doctors and return them to base. Do you need instructions? Instructions. Controlling the computer is simple. It will follow your mouse cursor. You can pick up the doctor by flying over them. Watch your speed when picking up doctors. You will need to go slowly so they can safely board your ship. After picking up some doctors, fly back to the starting base. Remember to watch your speed when dropping them off. After you have returned, some doctors go back out there and look for more mesh camps. Remember, you may only carry five doctors at a time, so you'll have to make multiple trips. You can fire at enemies by clicking the mouse button. Be careful out there. The mesh camp. Okay, let's go. Let's do this mini game. Ooh. I need to be more careful. I know I had a strategy for this. I don't remember what that strategy was. Yeah, I think it was just staying near ground level. Pick up a doctor. And now let's go back. Yeah, that was my strategy, staying at ground level. Drop them off. Now get going again. It is kind of hard to control with just the mouse, but this is this should be fine enough. Plus, I can make the helicopter swing to shoot enemies. Whoa! 
Let's see. Just like that, I can make the helicopter stop to shoot enemies. I did not realize they can also shoot me at ground level. Oh, I already have five. Time to head back then. Is there a time limit up there or is that just a progress bar? That might be a time limit. Drop the doctors off. Get going again. Yeah, staying at ground level is the safest, it seems. Pick up the doctor. Yeah, I can. Did I just shoot you from off screen? I think I might have. I got reckless there. That's a lot of evil mix. And these are two mesh camps side by side. I'll go back and drop these five guys off. Then I'll go back for the rest. I don't think I'll be, I'll have any time to grab more. So once I drop them off and go back for the rest, I'll just head back directly. Like there's no threat anymore. I cleared out all the threats. Yeah. Good job. The doctors that you picked up are all safe at the base. Oh no, a large enemy unit is approaching the base. You'll have to defend it in your mecha. Of course, I have to. This guy is 300 HP. Resist immobility effect. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh. Yeah, this is bad. This is really bad. I'll have to spam airstrikes on him. Affected by airstrike. Use this again. That missed. I am not having good luck here. Airstrike. I really need a stun. Hey, it worked. Airstrike. Very close. That was awesome. You are a true hero. The doctors that you rescued will save many lives. Thank you. Oh well. Bad luck. There's plenty more to do. Let's keep up the hard work. There is such a thing as persistent bonus which is great. Because that means I will eventually get the promotion. Let's see if... Yep, this is the third type of mission. Zulk, we are under attack. Sensors indicate that the enemy mecha is shadow sight. Engage the enemy. What am I up against? A mega gunner. Stun it. Big smile to try and stun it some more. Fortunately did not, I mean unfortunately that did not work. Police lights. Then airstrike. Police lights again. And airstrike again. Oh wait, never mind. I have the electron sniper. Hopefully by the end of all of this, since I'm getting so much credits, I should be able to afford one of the hospital makes. Excellent. The hospital is safe. And everyone has been saved. You have been promoted to intern. Nice. So anyway, I am going to pause recording again as usual. And I'll check back with you guys when I am done with this hospital quest. Or until I get tired. I paused because there was apparently a fourth type of mission that I forgot about. Okay, your maker has been loaded with a supply order for the nearby mesh camp. 
Watch out for shadow side patrols. Ah, great. Every time the enemy wins initiative, it's a net negative for me. Like a super net negative, not just a normal ne net negative. And I keep missing for some reason, I don't know why. And yes, I did need to level up my stats when I hit level 10. So that's not the issue. I have the accuracy. Police lights to try and get a miss. This to get a stun. And finish off with a big smiley face. I have the dull syringe that you ordered. Excellent. We were in an emergency situation because of the shortage. Thank you. Let's see if I get promoted this time. That was awesome. Thank you. I am now a scrub. So yeah, I just wanted to show that off and I will also explain my strategy for getting ranks quickly. Since the helicopter mission is so long compared to all the others, every time that comes up, I'm just going to straight up skip it and I'm only going to do the other three. They are relatively short enough that doing them over and over again does not take that long. So I'll see you soon. Just unpaused it because I really wanted to show off this flavor text because something about it was just sending me. I have the newbism vaccine that you ordered. A vaccine for being a noob. I don't know why, but I find that incredibly funny. Newbism vaccine. I just couldn't just I just couldn't not show that. Come on. I am now an orderly. I got promoted from a disorderly to an orderly. Anyway, I'll skip ahead again. I am currently in the gift shop. I'll just show you where I am here. And the reason I'm showing you this is because the Triffin laser is something I did not expect or remember, but it's pretty powerful. 11 to 19. I'll buy it because it's way better than my current energy razor, which is 5 to 15. Oh, wait. Equip. Plus, it looks better. Like, design wise, I like this better. Oh, I forgot to check. If I click on anything, does it do. Nope, this uniform does not do anything. I will sell my energy razor for 250 credits. There. Now, back to business. Hey guys, so I think I might have to end this episode here because every this quest line started getting real glitchy. Here's what I mean. So, first off, going going here if you look closely the mask has started to clip into my face i don't know if that was something that was always the case or new but there's this then there's the bonuses sometimes i don't get my head bonus sometimes i don't get my persistent bonus i don't know what's going on then with the autopsy thing the actual mini game is busted now and sometimes it would give me warnings even when i do nothing sometimes even when i click on the organs they don't move and yeah sometimes they just go off and hit stuff they are really shaky they are glitchy they are janky the, the weird thing is when i was the it was fine for the first, I don't know, 10, 20, 15 times 
but then it started to glitch out badly. I don't know what this is. I assume this is some kind of server side error or whatever. Either way, I think I'm going to cut this episode short. I'll pick up next episode when I got rank 30. But until then, I'm Zulka RS. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. Dislike it if you edited it. I'll hide your comment to let you know I've read them. So just because I added your comment doesn't mean I agree with it or endorse it. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.